Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly, back in New York City tonight for a huge factor, including part one of the Obama interview. Thank you for watching us. Sarah Palin strikes back. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. There's no doubt about it. The Republican crowd in St. Paul last night loved Governor Palin. She came across as normal, feisty, and unafraid. It was obviously a McCain campaign. is positioning Sarah Palin as every woman, a person rather than a politician. And it worked last night. <clears throat> Excuse me. The governor began by introducing herself in a very casual way. I had the privilege of living most of my life in a small town. I was just your average hockey mom and signed up for the PTA. I love those hockey moms. You know, they say the difference between a hockey mom and a pit bull? Lipstick. <laughs> Before I became governor of the great state of Alaska, I was mayor of my hometown. I guess a small town mayor is sort of like a community organizer, except that you have actual responsibilities. Well, Talking Points was surprised that Governor Palin went after Barack Obama. Last night we told you that most Americans don't know Sarah Palin, and it might be wise for her to stay positive throughout the speech. Obviously, the governor ignored my advice, which might be a good thing, because it was obvious last night that Palin has no use for the media. I've learned quickly these last few days that if you're not a member in good standing of the Washington elite, then some in the media consider a candidate unqualified for that reason alone. But here's a little news flash for those reporters and commentators. I'm not going to Washington to seek their good opinion. I'm going to Washington to serve the people of this great country. Now, that was great theater. What a delivery. I mean, it was terrific. The Republican crowd doesn't like the media because the media is biased in favor of the Democrats. So if you're a Republican, you're annoyed. Governor Palin played right into that. That was smart. But there's no question the governor has some work to do in building her resume so nonpartisan voters will be more reassured. The governor went on to cite her expertise in energy, her reform record, which is impressive, and then she came back to Barack Obama. This is a man who has authored two memoirs, but not a single major law or even a reform, not even in the state senate. When the stadium lights go out and those styrofoam Greek columns are hauled back to some studio lot, when that happens, what exactly is our opponent's plan? What does he actually seek to accomplish after he's done turning back the waters and healing the planet? All right, now that was obviously entertaining, red meat for the GOP voters. What it means in the long run is debatable. What is not debatable is that last night, Sarah Palin became a big star. And that's a memo now for the top story tonight.